It's a dark day, ladies and gentlemen. A dark day indeed. A very sad day. It's a day where Edward Lewis has to tell you that he has hay fever. And that... It isn't easy. It isn't easy, everybody. It isn't easy for me to admit that I have a weakness. And yes, that weakness is indeed hay fever related. Uh, it's hard. It's tough being a hay fever sufferer. But I'm thinking of setting up a... Uh, I'm thinking of setting up a a Patreon, <laughs> a charity for hay fever sufferers everywhere, all around the world, uh, to get money for those little nose things that you stick up your nose and then and you breathe them in like that. Hello, everyone. Good to see you. Happy lunchtime. A little earlier than usual. Um, two minutes earlier than usual. Uh, but it is Monday. Uh, did everyone have a lovely weekend? How was how was lovely weekend day? Kill all the bad hay, says Corpus Necromus. Corp I call him Corpus Necromus. His name's Corpse Necromus, but it just, for some reason, the, the Necromus sounds sort of Latin, so I feel like the, the Corpus bit. But you can hear it in my voice, can't you? You can hear that sort of bunged up nose. B I'm bunged up, mum. I don't go to school today because I've got a bunged up nose. And things like that. But anyway, good to see everybody. Griefed, Paul Archer, Orange Spark, Dante 2050, Andy FM, Orange Spark, Paul Archer, Griefed, again, Corpus Necromus, again, Shari, Shan, Shan's here, good, Dante 2050, all the usuals are here. Assistant producer, Coots, did you have a nice weekend? What did you do? Let me know. Tell me in the chat. And let's get doing some jumping. Last week, we had a successful week on this live stream. And I feel like we can do the same again by starting off with an FSD malfunction. So Andy FM, if the bar is open, please, what is the shot of the day? And remember, drink respectably, uh, consequentially, consequentially, uh, and other things as well. iGamer17, of course, the official countdown clock man, which I'm going to find a better title for that. Thanks for letting us know that the review begins in four or five minutes. It's very, very good of you. Rum toddies. I do need a rum toddy. That would be lovely. A hot, a hot, hot toddy. A rum toddy. Interesting. Strawberry liqueur for everybody's day. That's interesting. A shot of Zuzu. Mmm. Mmm, Zuzu. Zuzu for everyone today. <laughs> yeah, Shan says, I guess the advantage of streaming on Saturdays is that there will be no Zack to prank Ed unless him and Zack share the same flat like Morecambe and Wise. We do not share the same flat. Uh, it's a house. Um, he has the top floor, I have the bottom floor. And uh, we have one giant bed, but it's big enough to create partitions to make sure that, uh, yes, <laughs> we are kept far apart from one another. That's not true. We live in separate houses, miles away from one another, on purpose. Because we spend far too much time with one another at work in the day anyway. Hey Percat, how are you doing? Official cat of the stream. Oh, oh Percat, I forgot to download those things that you asked me to download. I will do that, I promise, tomorrow. Unless we can do it, well, I'm not gonna do it live. That's, that would be poor etiquette. Andy Coots, Andy Coots, Phil Coots, Andy, I'm losing my mind. I have taken some strong antihistamine pills. So if I do drift away at some point during this stream, like this. That's just me drifting away on a cloud. Uh, hello, Irish Spark. Can Zach sleep with your shiny head? That's a strange thing to say. No. Uh, Rogue One Kenobi, good to see you. Yes, biscuits. We've got biscuits all week. What a surprise. How many biscuits have we done now? We've done tons. We've done tons of biscuits at this point. How many biscuits have we done so far? Is it 15? 15 biscuits? And this weekend, like I was just chatting with the chat about, if you have just joined us, hello, let's jump all the way to Sol. That's all I'm saying from now on. You've seen this enough times to know exactly why we're here and exactly why I'm doing this silly jumping thing. Um, but yeah, quarter two, we have a biscuit review. Now, what I've decided, because we've still got so, 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 so far to jump, I'm going to have to do a weekend stint. I'll be doing it anyway, so I thought, why not just pop into the office on the Saturday 
nip up here into this lovely little room, and I'm just gonna spend six hours. We're gonna have lunch together. We can do an hourly biscuit review for this like six hour stint, and hopefully do about 6,000 light years. Otherwise, we're never gonna make it in time for LaveCon. We were doing some math the other day about how long it's actually gonna take if we carry on at this rate, and it is a long time. It's like 100 live streams, especially now that we've got guest Wednesdays and uh, uh, quiz, Quiz kits? Is that what we called it? Biz quiz. The biz quiz. Now they've got the biz quiz on Fridays with uh, Walter Neil Lewis. Uh, it's it's going to slow us down, isn't it? So we need to make sure we make some actual ground at some point. By the way, Monday is my favourite day, everybody, because it's nice and slow and then relaxed, and we're all just here together. All right, we've got a new game. It's called Take a Shot Every Time Ed Sneezes. <coughs> Hey fever, hey fever. Hey, hey fever, hey, hey fever. That's the hay fever chant. My eyes are bloodshot and red. Ugh. You don't know what the C stands for in Edward Sealers, do you? Ah, well that shall ever remain a secret. Everybody, Gesundheit says grief. Thank you very much. That's my favourite of the um Sort of excuse me, it is a German, right? I'm not just mad. I'm assuming it's German because you are from Germany. Because I'm tight. You sp do you really spell it? Gesundheit? Gesundheit. Gesundheit. Yeah, hay fever is basically a pollen aller allergy uh, corpse, yes. Uh, which is <laughs> really annoying. Uh, because we're on a very high pollen count this week in the UK, and it just really puts me out. <laughs> like I can't, I just can't function. You're just drooling out of every orifice in your face. You'll see soon. E my ears will start sprouting wings, and they, and then they, uh, they take over the brain, like this, and then massage the scalp, and then once they're done doing that, there's nothing you can do for the rest of the day. You feel ill. What does everyone want to guess what the C stands for in Edward C. Lewis? And maybe, maybe I'll give away what the answer is at some point. Or it can be forever a mystery. What do we think, everybody? Forever a mystery? We should do a show call-in thing, shouldn't we, where somebody, get, somebody from the community can call in and guess what my name is. And if they get it, and every time they don't get it right, we add a pound into the pot. Wait, hold on. Let's, wait. That's not good. It's not a good idea. I'll be... I will be a uh, a poor man. I will be a poor man. We can add a pretend pound. <laughs> That's okay, Moon Prayer. Thank you very much for joining us here. I would not watch me anyway either. I think you've made the correct decision to watch uh, Close Encounter of the Third Kind. That is a good shout. If you could give us a live sort of live tweet, but obviously in the chat, a live commentary over what is happening in Close to the Count of the Third Kind. That would be really, really helpful. And then we can all enjoy it with you. Everyone can know we can just ask the dad on Friday. Don't ask him. He will tell you. He will uh, tell you without without a uh, without a doubt. I'm going to have to tell him not to tell you. It's a good name, though. It's a good name. I do like it. Whatever it may be. Ooh. Or is it? Or do I? Or am I? Where am I? Good question. Let's find out. Uh, but it is good to see everybody. Andrea Kitty, of course. Great to see you. Not Biffle. Who are you then? If you're not Biffle, then who are you? Academic Dust 894. That's what we have in our lives as, well, for me, I can only speak for myself. FSD malfunction, everybody. Andy FM, if you could pour a shot of Zozo, or was it Zuzu? I can't remember. And everybody, get your lips ready, rounded, and pursed, ready for the shot of strawberry liqueur, which we are only drinking um, hypothetically and using our imaginations, because you should all drink responsibly. And I hope you did some responsible drinking over the weekend to celebrate the footy, because I know you all like the foot sports. I don't know any of them. Uh, and other things like that. But I hope everybody enjoyed um, my dad's. Um, he was very thrilled with it. He loved it. He had such a great time. Uh, I should have a shot of Pyriton. Yes, that's what I need right now. Can you shot Pyriton? 
Let me tell you, by the way, today I went to the shops this morning. I went for on a biscuit run, surprise, surprise. Uh, and I have the next two weeks of biscuits planned out already. That's the kind of commitment to this cause that you're getting, guys. We start these things and we're going to finish them, all right? But you should see my desk downstairs it is loaded with biscuits. But what that means is that I'm going to start bringing the actual package in and we're going to get to look at the packaging first as well for the people overseas who might not understand what Tesco value means. I can be like, this is what Tesco value means. And they'll sort of understand where we're coming from when we say that sort of stuff. Oh, sorry. Yes, I did. I apologise, Percat259. Thank you very much for reminding me. We do have to say hello to David for the week. Uh, thank you, David Braven. Um, I mean, thanks, David. He's here in his green suit behind. He's always here. He stays here overnight. He's dedicated to that sort of, to, to this very particular thing. It's not true. If you ever, if you are watching, it's very it's meant very respectfully. Um, you're a good guy. Good bloke. But everyone say hello to David for please, in the chat. Hello to David. Hey, DJ Charging. H hello, Ed from Thorn. Is Thorn streaming right now as well? Am I missing a Thorn stream? Am I, am I, am I competing with a Thorn stream? That's never gonna, that's never gonna work, is it? It's never gonna, I'm never gonna get a Thorn raid. Yeah, hello, don't do a Thorn raid. Is there really a thought rate right now? Oh, God. All right. Yep. Good stuff. Thanks for the host, Thorn. For 55 viewers, they're going to get a raid. What do I have to do during a raid? Can I wear... I know what I can do, because it's, it's a special occasion. I'm going to have to, for my 55 new viewers, apparently, um, I am going to... Hello. Hi. Hi, Thorn. Thanks for coming in. Because you've got a very special guest and you've come to watch me during my hay fever time, that means I can only do one thing, and that is it's time for Floating Head Ed. It's floating head Ed. It's time for some floating head Ed. He floats around the screen. A bit like, oh God, the chair's spoiling it, isn't it? I need to move the chair. What happened was, I got um, accused of, uh, yeah. So, God just carry on playing now with a, with a floating head. Thank you. you go all the way upside down as well. Doesn't doesn't really work, does it? You can sort of you can sort of, you can sort of tell that I've got a body, can't you? Doesn't really work. <laughs> all right, so that's the rest of the stream going to be now done. Wearing the floating head Ed costume. Oh, I'm tired. That was that really took it out of me. Really took it out of me there. I'm not. I'm, I'm sort of kneeling on the floor. Yeah. I'm just a floating head. There's no explanation. No one ever knows. Floating hands as well. So I can do the sort of thing where it looks like I'm holding up my head, my own head. There you go. That's more like it. <laughs> What's happened? What is happening here? We've gone absolutely insane. Uh, a green blanket to put over the chair. I do, don't I? Yeah, that would make a lot more sense. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, jam jar graphic to make it look like I'm floating on top from Futurama. That'd be great. Uh, now I think I've had enough time wearing this jumper now. I'm, I'm hot. I'm so hot. That's all you get. That's everything. That's me done. <coughs> oh. Ugh. This is more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought it was going to be a nice relaxing lunchtime for me to come and talk. I know. I'm tired. 
So what is a, uh, yeah, oh gosh. It's apparently got 79 viewers. This is, uh, I need to be careful now. Um, so, uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, we do uh, biscuit reviews and we do this jumping thing where we jump from one star system to another for hours and then the people in chat are really 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 lovely uh yeah yep yep and uh hmm see it really don't have anything else to talk I don't, have, I, don't, I don't have anything else to talk to you about sorry I used to talk to the audience Oh, he used to talk to the audience. It's super effective. Awesome. Yeah, we've got the biscuit review in uh, in 30 minutes. I'm waiting for iGamer17 to give the 30-minute warning. Oh, that will be in about three minutes' time, yeah. Uh, so it's got, we've got, yeah, it's a while away for the biscuit review, but I do appreciate everybody being here. Thank you so much for coming along. You are lovely, lovely people. And um, basically what happens is on Wednesdays we have Guest Wednesday. So I'm going to get serious now. Let's all get serious. Let's all start to be, let's all calm down. You've been too silly, you've had too much caffeine, you've had two cups of tea today, already, and that's not even, it's, you know, it's only it's only just one o'clock. So calm down. Ugh. Let's get serious for a second, right. This live stream is about, it's about life. It's about expression. It's about art. It's about people. It's about places. It's about those little moments in life when you think, you stop and you think to yourself, what really is truly special to me? What do I have in my life that I literally couldn't live without? Every time I wake up in the morning and I, and I think, I need something, I need these things. If I didn't have these things anymore, then life just wouldn't be worth living. And of course, the answer that we all know on this live stream is, it's biscuits, isn't it? It's biscuits. Chocolate biscuits, digestive biscuits, cookies, you've got even Jaffa cakes. F it, Jaffa cakes, even that's going on the list today. That's it, and Elite Dangerous, sorry, yeah. Elite Dangerous is the second, is the second thing, but it's biscuits first. Let's be honest, that's what everybody's here for anyway. Uh, live stream the universe and everything. We are special, Andrea Kitty, you are special. That's all serious, in all seriousness. Oxygen. Oxygen, man. Oxygen, man, yeah, that's what we need. I'm sorry, that was a drug reference. We don't, we didn't, Kamoots, is the, Commander Coots, is that okay to put drug, can we please put a drug reference warning at the start of the video on demand, thanks very much. Light drug reference, no drug use, zero drug use. And remember to drink responsibly and don't do drugs, kids, because drugs are bad. Life destroying. Drugs is the best. Oh, he's got an onion head thing. He's got an onion head little, little onion head logo. Yeah. So, Thorn, who is in the chat from Thorn's stream here? Other than Thorn. We want some, yeah, we've got 72 views. We got raided by Thorn. And and what's happened is that I've completely lost my mind trying to deal with hay fever and the uh, drowsy drugs that I've been taking for, for to, to battle with pollen illness. And uh, I've lost my mind entirely. So Thorn, if you could tell me if there are other people in the stream from your, that, that you brought over, that would be really, really kind of you. Let them know he's here. Frontier Dev just arrived. Um, because I want to hear from them a review of Thorn, like an honest review of their live streams. That's what I want. Because if they're, when they're in your channel, they're probably like, oh, we love you, Thorn, we love you. And then they're not really honest with you. What I want right now in the chat is an honest review of Thorn, Mercenary Thorn's live streams. The lovely Australian, beautiful Mercenary Thorn. While I do something very quickly, which is this. 
We're nearly there, guys. Look, look at this. We're approaching the first stop on our massive, ridiculous tour. So, uh, let's have a look here. Let's see. Let's find. Let's go here. This looks like a nice place to stop for the day. And then, in fact, we're going to go further on. That's not far. Oh, this P-R-I-A-U-R-U-Y-S-C-3-0 looks like a nice place this time of year. We are too far out. Hey, if you've not heard of Thorn Corpse, you should check out his channel. He's a lovely man. Uh, he's been playing Elite Dangerous from, I think it's Alpha or at least Beta. Uh, when it first came out and he is very very good like a very very good pilot very good at CQC as well it's definitely worth checking out and he's a, like um he's a an authority on this stuff like he knows elite dangerous like better than a lot of people especially PvP stuff and PvE why are we talking about sandwiches bacon roll sorry I was getting a bacon roll for lunch you best be sorry Zach you best be sorry Did we get the update? Reveal begin 30 minutes. Yes, thank you very much, iGamer17, for your regular updates. Really do appreciate those. They keep me on my toes. They let me know exactly where I'm up to. Bunny Hedger says that Thorn is obviously the best thing since Oxygen. That's lovely. Uh, as we did do a serious talk earlier, it is important for us all to the, the Monday is a day of remembering because everyone comes in. It's like, oh, first day back at work. Oh, like back. At, I don't want to be at work on a Monday, but actually, you should be feel lucky that you're able to get up and get out there and do work and and feel enabled and challenged and doing things. Monday is a day about doing, and that is what this live stream is about as well. Doing and biscuits. Doing things plus biscuits. Oh. Bleeding eckers like. Twenty five minutes. Thank you very much. From my gamer seventeen there. Twenty five minutes. We've already had two FSD malfunctions already this week, which is absolutely craziness. It's a bad start, I think. It's a bad start. But I feel like oh, like I said, on Saturday this week, usually these live streams, these daily live streams are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday only in the weekday. But actually this week, um, because I want to make some ground, because we have not made anywhere near enough ground that I thought I would be on track for, I want to do a six hour stream on Saturday. That's the current plan. So from 10 o'clock on Saturday morning, it's 10 a.m. BST, so I don't know what time it'll be in Australia. I'm sorry for Australian viewers, uh, specifically um, the delightful uh, Mercenary Thorn. Uh, but I'm starting at 10 a.m. BST, and I'm going to stream until about 4. And then on the hour at 10 to every hour, we'll be doing a biscuit review. So not only are we going to get lots of biscuits, three lots of biscuits, it's basically going to fuel my entire trip, but we're going to try and make at least six to 7,000 light years during that time uh, of completely... Well, I say uninterrupted, I've just obviously said that it's going to be interrupted. But you're going to have to bear with me a lot during that because obviously we'll have to take uh, breaks here and there for very human reasons. FSD malfunction. Everybody, if Andy FM could politely pass everybody a shot glass. Have you got 70 shot glasses, Andy FM? Ready? Are they ready? Have you got 70? Are they ready? Two in a row. Two in a row. It's, it's, you best just get 140 lined up and just do it all in one go, and then everyone can do two at once. Uh, if that's all right, let's hit three. We got we got there on three. Amazing. Yeah, six hour live stream on Saturday. We need to do it because I was going to do it anyway. I was going to just sit there and do it anyway. But why not do it live? I was going to do it at home, and I thought, what about it's okay? If I'm not expecting absolutely anyone to be around. Uh, join that stream even if there's me and one other person or like me on my own doing it I don't I, I'm just saying I'm here it might even be a lot more of this
So yeah, it's going to be a lot more of that, basically, just me sitting silently jumping for a long time. But if you could come and join the journey with me, I'll try and talk for six hours straight. I think what happens is that I actually got more viewers there, because the, the less I talk, more people want to stick around. Uh, I'm, I'm basically an idiot. But yeah, you can come and join me, and uh, should be a nice, should be a nice little bit of time. Saturday. Have you got anything else to do? Or are you going to be in any way playing video games? Just put me on a little separate screen. Put me on a, on a little iPad. There are other pads available. I think. Other pads available. What other pads are there available? Synth pad. Brillo pad. Um, Lily pad. Loads of, loads of pads. Will I have guests on Saturday? Probably not, Percat. Um, nobody will be in the office, and I'll be here in the office, so um, it's probably just going to be me on the screen. Um, hey, Paul Archer, that's a lovely idea. I'm going to let everybody know for the Saturday stream, for the Saturday Biscuit Bonanza, it's going to be a... I'll let everybody know what biscuits there are going to be and then everyone can join in and we can all have the biscuits together. And that's going to be really, really lovely. I will have had six cup of tea, cups of tea by the end of it as well, so I, you know those human breaks I was talking about that I'm going to have to take every every uh, <laughs> ten minutes? Well, yeah, caffeine goes straight through. That's an FSD malfunction. That's the fifth one of the week already. Five FSD malfunctions rolling around on the floor laughing because of how many... Oh, we got it second time. Because of how many ridiculous... Zozo strawberry liqueurs we've all had. A bachelor pad. A landing pad. How did I not get a landing pad? Helicopter landing pad, a standard landing pad, and a bachelor pad. Good one. Very good. Very, very good indeed. It is one biscuit per hour on Saturday. That is correct. At 10 to the hour. So I will... The review won't begin here in 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. It, no. 20 minutes, he means. You have one job. You have one job, iGamers. The official countdown supervisor. You have one job and you got it wrong. He means 20 minutes. Does he mean 20 minutes? What time is it? A paint pad, a pad tie, a knee pad and a pad lock. Very, very good. This is why I rely on my wonderful, wonderful audience. They, these, you guys are my favorites. I think that I've definitely peaked early this week. This, I am exhausted. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, Saying 25. Connor Moon Press says, look at the bright side and we'll see another repair facility at Big Point. Will we? Let's hope so. Toad in Dutch's pad. Nice, thank you. Learning something new every day. Wrong button, I gave him <laughs> 17. Don't worry, I gave him. You're a, you're a good lad. Thank you so much. Or lass, iGamer17. I do apologise if I've completely... If I've been... I've made assumptions about you and your character. And your your gender. You can never make assumptions about someone's gender. Make assumptions about their agenda. Always make assumptions about agenda, but never make assumptions about gender. <laughs> Drum pad. Very good. Drum pad. Gamepad. No one went for gamepad. Shan, I lost six people with the pad game. Some people can't appreciate art. Some, sometimes wordplay is a little too much for people. As you can see, the viewers drift away. What do I have to do to keep, to retain viewers? In fact, to get more, let's ask someone like Mercenary Thorn. Mercenary Thorn, give me your, t is he still here? He's probably gone. He's probably one, one of the ones that's left. He's had enough. I guess I've seen this Ed, we've spoken before. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> it's difficult to remember what people's... Um, paddle? Ah. Mystery Thorn, give me some top tips on snagging streamer views to get 1,000 because as the original Ed's 38 now 
people who were here originally. Don't talk about it to 38, first of all. Secondly, if I ever make it to a thousand followers, the members of Ed's 38 are going to get an ice cream when I meet them in person. Pad Thai. Did we go for Pad Thai? Someone tried Pad Thai already, I think. <laughs> I still don't know why people watch me. It's because you're a killing machine, and it's quite exciting to watch a killing machine kill stuff in space, isn't it? Thanks. Promise people ice cream? I've already done that. That's why you guys stick around. Just everyone gets an ice cream. Everyone gets an ice cream. I don't want to end up having to give 67 people an ice cream, though. So do send me a follow, because once we do get to 1,000, there'll be... I'm going to go around with a video camera finding people uh, around the world to buy them an ice cream, and then I'll show it on the live stream. How about that? I'm just, I could do so much. I could do so much. Paddy McPadface. Everyone likes Paddy McPadface. Paddy McGuinness. Commander Wilkie is the winner of the day with Paddy McGuinness. If you don't know who Paddy McGuinness is, good for you. If you do know who Paddy McGuinness is, that's quite a good one. Well done. I have to swear and shout more. I'm at work. There are people within the outskirts of this office that can almost hear me. There's a boardroom next, literally behind me. And of course, as we know, David Braben stands here all day in his, in his green screen suit. So, David Braben's here, by the way, right here. I, you know I me. Mean? He's fine. He's okay. He's, he works on his laptop. He's got his laptop there. That's also coated, coated in a green paint. Um, so you can hear people outside. I give you mine at LaveCon, Perka. I will, but we have to reach a thousand first. If you don't reach a thousand, then no, ain't nobody getting no ice creams. You play ear splitting heavy metal music, scream obscenities every 30 seconds, and flash my boobs. I'm going to take all of that into account. Um, I, I, do, I already have a gimmick, I suppose, which is the biscuit reviews. But maybe we need to do like an unboxing. Thank you very much, iGamer17, for your very accurate, wonderful um, information there. Very informative for the official countdown president. Official countdown president. Show my, are you Pixel Bandits? So you want me to get my boobs out? I'm not doing it. Nice to see you here, Pixel Bandits, by the way. And a low cut top, Commander Hatch. <laughs> Uh, very good. You were told yesterday that your name is Macabre and Morbid, Corpse Necromes. Yeah, it is a little bit grim. It makes me feel like you're you're definitely going to murder me. Um, but that's kind of your thing, isn't it? That you're like a pirate. So it kind of it's fitting with your playstyle. Hello, human. Greetings. That's, that was my that was my um, Karash impression. Greetings, commanders. Here's my Kar greetings, commanders. Welcome to the live stream. Greeting, and I'll see you in the void. That's my Karash impression. He's a wonderful man. I love Karash. I can't do Dan. Commander Human, look at this man. Here he is. Commander Human, are you featuring on the live stream tonight? Tonight, by the way, on the official. YouTube channel of Elite Dangerous, youtube.com forward slash frontier developments forward slash live. We have a live stream where we're going into detail about the dangerous games. If you don't know what the dangerous games are, then good then that's more more reason for you to come along tonight onto the stream. And if you do, then it's gonna be really exciting because you're gonna see um yeah, yeah, did you like yeah. squee squee yeah, so if you want to come along tonight to see, you can get all of the groups, all the different groups are going to be doing um, their like five minute pitches as to why you should vote for them, because those groups might become a power in the game. That's going to be massive, absolutely massive. Um, it's super cool, like one of the biggest impact that, that you know a player group will be having on the game, and the first example of us trying something out with this. So it's also very experimental. So do come along to the Dangerous Games live stream tonight because we're going to have loads of information about that, and you can learn all about what it is, why it is, how it is, and then you can hear from the groups themselves. We've got videos lined up, we've got images lined up of all of their representatives and stuff like that. So Hugh Man, are you going to be there? Oh, it's going to be DJ Trusay. Ah, awesome. Nice to see you, DJ, by the way. I didn't know you were in the chat. I didn't see you there. Thanks for, thanks for joining us. Do you know what this live stream is all about? Have you heard of this one? Have you seen, have you seen this? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Have you seen this before? 
Andy FM says he's already voted for TIIQ. Great stuff. Roots Rats on the stream tonight as well. Yeah, one of the moderators and the leader of one of the groups. God, I always forget the name of their group. Bad. Bad head. That's why we've got Zach Antonacci on tonight as well. So if you've ever wondered what Zach looks like in person, and he's this is a man who has gone out there and said, I have a face for radio, who is actually coming on tonight to the stream. He's going to sit here and talk with me and be the expert because he knows everything there is to know about the Dangerous Games. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Who is DJ Truthsayer? Asks Rob Z. Really? <laughs> DJ Knight, it's, it's, I always get mixed up between the two as well. It's not. DJ Truthsayer is, uh, no, you, no, they're not related. I, maybe they, I mean, they're brothers in arms and also they're both awesome, so they could be related. If you Google right now, Ultra Salty, what are the five player groups? If you Google um, Elite Dangerous Dangerous Games, it's a math form. Elite Dangerous Dangerous Games community site. You can see like uh, all the details and all the different groups there, and like our current take on those as well. In terms of like we've got like our pundit gives his opinion, his or her opinion, on on each of the groups. Pretty cool. It's very very cool. So if you don't know about it, it's going to be really really awesome tonight. I've made some headway today, haven't I, guys? I've done I've done we've made some actual ground, some real ground. It's better than Friday. So who was here for Friday's biz quiz? And if you were, if you weren't, again, everyone in the chat, tell everybody how good Friday's Biz Quiz was. And yeah, my dad came on the stream. So if you want to see that on the video on demand, and you should be here live for the Biz Quiz, it was a lot of fun. Next, this, this week's Biz Quiz isn't going to be about biscuits, but it's still going to be called the Biz Quiz because it's part of the fun, isn't it? I've made some headway today. Roots Rights of the Border, Co Border Coalition, thank you very much. Yeah, something like that. I even I've even made all the folders up for showing this stuff. This is this is an indication of how tonight's gonna be, by the way. Uh, this bunged up idiot just mumbling nonsense. Warning, the review will begin in ten minutes, says iGamer17. Thank you very much, iGamer17. Uh, Bisquiz was amazing, Bisquiz was awesome. I would not my dad it was better than butter toast. Who's who, who's who is here? So if no cargo that's in with me, there's no reason for just to be the cargo. <laughs> exactly. You you you'll know, you don't have to pirate me right now, please don't pirate me. Fire is a mechanic, I remember I've got the VOD after the stream's done. Lewis Senior is cool. Yeah for Ed's dad. Maybe I think link a VOD of my own then. Uh yeah, go on then, DJ Truesayer. If you want to link a VOD of your own, you have my blessing, good sir. The Biscuits was like QI. He's a great quiz master. So he's coming back on Friday, so make sure you come back. If you are here uh, for as a first, make sure you do follow me. Uh, and then come back on f Wednesday. We have Guest Wednesday, where I bring on a guest from Frontier Developments. Uh, and they do a come and do a, bis a guest biscuit review with me. And then on Friday, yeah, it's Biz Quiz Day. And uh, Neil, Walter Neil Lewis comes on. And I think he's got some stories lined up this week as well to embarrass and make me feel silly in front of you wonderful people too. He's brilliant. I think Daddy Lewis, I vote Daddy Lewis replaces Baby Lewis. He would be a great streamer. Like, he's clearly got the gift of the gab. Like, he loves it as well. You can tell he really enjoys it. Look at my eyes. They're, they're barely open today. Look. That's genuinely my eyes are open. I've got my eyes open there. I just. Uh, uh. Baby pictures. Now, the thing about baby pictures is that without me confirming it, I'm not going to show that on the screen. So he would have to hold them up to the camera and we'd have to just make a deal that I'm not allowed to turn them off. Um, but is that getting a bit weird at that point? Like, here, look at some pictures of me as a child. More coffee clearly needed. It's not coffee, it's I've got um, hay fever. Really bad hay fever, so I'm just spluttering everywhere. But I'm dedicated to the biscuit cause. And I'm dedicated to Giving the giving the wonderful Eds thirty eight the attention and care that they deserve. But yeah, it's been a good week already. Look at this Monday. Monday's good. What's everyone's favourite day of the week? Because I've decided mine's Monday. Drive, 
yeah, Dante 2050, I need to curl up somewhere to prep for night stream. I need to, but I also need to prepare for tonight's stream. So I need to get things set up in here. I need to get all the videos ready. I need to get everything in folders so it's nicely presented for, so it's easy for me to like grab it and copy it over onto the, onto the live stream. There's a lot to do today. Loads of lovely artwork as well, yeah, says Frontier Dev. Uh, oh, is that from Ruby One Kenobi? Oh, fantastic, I didn't know that. I had no idea that it was him who made that. Which one is it? Sorry, I've just I've I've, I've complimented somebody on a piece of artwork. And I'm not sure which one it is. Forty astronomical objects. Could it be the home of Eds thirty eight? Could Eds thirty eight the planet itself for Eds thirty eight EDS three eight? Is it here? No, alas, Eds three eight is not here. We are looking. We're on a search on the way home for an unsearched for un scanned the undiscovered planet that we can land and we can call it our home. Revian, yeah, there is a stream tonight, Revian, yes. Good to see you in here, by the way. Thank you very much for joining us. I don't know why you're here, let's be honest. It's, it's just total madness. Um, yeah, we're talking about the Dangerous Games, which you probably are aware of. Uh, if you're not, it's on the community site. Ruby One Kenobi didn't make this channel's art. No, that's um, Muzipan. Uh, Muzipan made that art. Oh, he left it then. He left it for one little note extra. I thought he was going to go the whole way through the second part of the verse, but ice cream is here, everybody. Who wants an ice cream? Raise your hands in the chat if you'd like an ice cream from the ice cream van. And I'm sure Mike Brooks, as he powers his way outside to pick up his 99 flake, We'll grab you one too and bring it back inside for you all to share between yourselves. We only have the budget for one ice cream. If Commander Coots can tell me if I've got enough budget for two ice creams this week. Coots, do we have enough in the budget? Assistant producer Coots there, everybody. Round of applause for assistant producer Coots. Everyone's an ice cream. Look at all the hands in the air for the ice creams. Great stuff. Lovely. The ice cream truck is late today. Five more minutes, everyone. Where's the oh, where's iGamer17 for the... Hmm. No. Says Commander Coots. No, just a straightforward no. That's fine. I won't buy everyone an ice cream then. Sorry guys, it's just the one ice cream for us all to share today because Commander Coots says there's nothing in the budget. Two mini milks. How does everyone think about two mini milks shared between one another? With 67 of us, we could all get one sort of little lick, like just a little, like a little poke of the bottom of the thing. Hope nobody minds sharing saliva as well. Um, just... That's just all we've got access to, fortunately, with the current funds from a Commander Coots. Feast! <laughs> a feast! Mm. 99. <laughs> the budget was blown paying my dad for the quiz. Absolutely. He's an expensive man. He's coming back, he's coming back on, and he's, he's going to come back on, and he's going to probably demand double the pay. Uh, he's a ser he's serious business. He is serious, serious business. Testing out a ramming stealth plasma orca. That sounds like madness. DJ Tuesday, you're moving. Where are you moving to? What's the um, what's your postcode and address, please, so I can send mail your way. That's weird. Don't 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 put your mail in the chat. Whoa, got a little stall there. That was worrying. Five minutes, Ed. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, iGamer. <laughs> FSD malfunction, everybody. If uh, Andy FM, if you could pour everybody a shot of Zozo, that would be really fantastic. And then, in about five minutes' time, we're going to see where we got up to. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. We're going to see where we got up to and see how far we've got until our first stop-off point. And then at that stop-off point, that's probably where we're going to end up by Saturday. And then... From Saturday onwards, we're going to hit it hard and do like 6,000 light years at least. I'm not going home until we've done 6,000 light years and six biscuit reviews on Saturday, starting at 10 a.m. PST. Do follow me so you know when, when I go live. I think that's how it works. Is that how Twitter works? Is that how Twitch works? I'll let everybody know on Twitter anyway. Uh, moving to Holland. Exciting stuff. Exciting stuff indeed. Commander Coots and talk with Walls about some sponsorships. Thanks very much, Coots. You are doing the uh, the Lord's work. I didn't, I didn't mean that. 
didn't, before anyone says anything, I did not mean that. Just gonna pretend that never happened. Let's do it. Couple more jumps, couple more jumps, couple more jumps. Shan. You get a notification via email. Cool. Take out the hard drives and my graphics card. We're having a discussion in the chat here about um, for anyone who's full screened or watching this on VOD full screen. Why are you doing that, first of all? The chat is the best bit about this. They're saying, back up any data you want before shipping because the hard disk might die in transit. Very good. Um, yeah. You don't want the CPU cool to rip off half. Oh my god, I'm reading the chat and I nearly crashed. Uh, all right. Two minutes warning. Thank you very much, iGamer17. Uh, <laughs> you are performing a service that is fantastic. I'm not scanning anything. Is that an insane thing to do? I'm honking as I jump in, but then I'm just jumping straight out to the next system. But I'm hoping that I'm going to visit enough to get me some mega books anyway. Yes, I've got a lot of sorting to do after this live stream uh, about tonight. Just carry it in your hands. Use it on, you know, as your carry-on luggage. And what you can do is you can open up the case and you could put in all of your life items inside the PC case and you just hold it like this. Just carry it. And then you'll be working out at the same time. Easy. The ice cream fan is making a noise in the distance. Right, 11 jumps, 11 jumps to go. And then it's time, it's time. It's quarter two now. Uh, do we have, uh, where are we up to, where are we up to, where are we up to? All right, let's do it. Let's have a quick look here first. Um, one more jump, one more jump. Next jump, and then I will go and get today's biscuit and today's cup of tea for our review. Today's gonna be a bit of a weird one, a bit of a fun one, a bit of a strange one. So I'll put that music on and I will be back with us just about three minutes time. So talk amongst yourselves, be friendly, give each other back massages. How about a nice little cheeky foot rub for uh, DJ Trusayer? Sounds like he's about to um, leave the country, so he needs a foot rub. So everyone give foot rubs to DJ Trusayer in the chat, please. And then it is time, of course, for today's Bizquid Reviews. Don't go anywhere. Back in a second.
Ooh. Oh no, now it's just me and you, isn't it? And, oh, hello, hey, hey, hello. Oh, fancy seeing you here. Right, let's bring up the official uh, documentation. The very, very, very official. Did everyone have a nice little break there, by the way? I uh, hope everyone was very kind to one another. Um, now, we do not have... It looks like Zach is behaving himself today. The official saboteur of the live stream is behaving himself because I think he has sabotaged the live stream enough by making this suggestion for this next biscuit. Um, today, he, as he's mentioned in chat as well, this biscuit is was recommended to him by... Not recommended to him. His nan used to give him this biscuit. Um, it, when he was younger. Uh, this is Frontier Dev, by the way. He's in the chat, so here on Frontier Dev. Um, but he might have done something... I think he sabotaged it enough by giving me this rubbish biscuit. So as we can see... My computer is struggling along. I'm going to have to close... A bit dangerous down. They, they, right, now we're moving things a little smoother. A little, a little, a little smoother now. All right, so technically at this point, I'm not playing any video games, so if Twitch throw me away, then on the, on their heads be it. But um, if you've not been here for a, a biscuit review, as you can see, we have appearance, taste, texture, mouth feel, durability, dunkability, post dunk, taste, satisfaction, and moorishness. Moorishness is how much I want another one afterwards, of course. The satisfaction is just the overall feel. Uh, the post dunk, the dunkability is we test it for three seconds, one, two, three, and then reveal. And then we go for a double dunk, one, two, three, and then reveal. Then we taste it. And then we do a little mini dunk and a small taste. With durability, it's how crummy it is. So the crummier it is, the lower score it gets. And the mouthfeel and the taste and the appearance are just how I'm feeling. It's just the way I'm feeling. Yeah, yeah, that's a, um, uh, feeder song there for everybody who didn't know that. Uh, the hay fever might, but I have taken an antihistamine about two hours ago, so my nose is feeling clear and it's feeling good. Today's biscuit, everybody, is the Rich Tea Finger Biscuit. The Rich Tea Finger Biscuit from Tesco. This one specifically from Tesco. Now, the reason why I'm showing you off the packaging is because you can see what kind of value biscuit that this thing thinks it is. It, it, as in, it, you can even, you can see, oh, it's got a little, a, a lovely little box there. I mean, I do like this packaging, but at the same time, you can see that it's just the value stuff. It really, really is the, uh, the value. Uh, biscuits and the immediately let's 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 show how this is going to go I've just opened the packaging and as you can see straight away I'm pulling out that the biscuit itself is already broken in half now you can tell how this live stream is going to go this this biscuit is going to go all right let's see based on that so very carefully no broken another one simply by trying to lift it outside of the packet this is going to go very well carefully 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 very very carefully these are brittle 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 biscuits. Have a spoon at the ready. And also I want to say at the end, thank you, a big thank you to Shan. Oh, I'm holding it the wrong way. Who was the official mug provider for the podcast. And he, for the podcast, for the live stream, he's got biscuit pocket. So as you can see, that is a good stacking right there. Look at that. Woo! Stacking up in there. All right. So the rich tea finger. Let's do this. Appearance. So I don't know if you can see on there, but it does have... A nice sort of spirally parochial um, la uh, embellishment on there, which is quite nice, but it is a very bland looking biscuit. You would look at that biscuit and you would go, have you got, have you got anything else, Nan? That's what I'd say. You're right, Nan. Have you got anything else, mate? You got, I've got anything else. I'm not eating that. Um, that's what I would say. It looks like a surfboard. If you like surfboards, into that, it looks like an ironing board. So if you put two little, two little, two little things here like that, and you could do your little biscuit ironing on it. Oh, it smells good. Um, all right. Um, so appearance-wise, let's put it on here first of all. I'm going to be very specific here. I'm going to write Tesco uh, Rich Tea Finger. Now the reason is. It's because I reckon we're going to screen through these. And I want to be representative of all. Tesco is kind of like a Walmart or something akin to that. It's bigger than a... If you're French, then you've got yourself the... What's it called? The um, Monsieur... Not Monsieur Bricolage. Uh, what's the one with the three musketeers? I don't know. Mm. It is not a cracker. It's called a Rich Tea Biscuit. It says it on the thing. Rich Tea Finger Biscuits. Biscuits. Is not a cracker. 
I give the standard rich tea an eight because it held together well on the dipping thing. Car four, Shan. I'll see you, car four. Oui. Um, so let's do this. Um, I don't know any German supermarkets. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm very sorry because I know there's a couple of Germans in here. So little. It's kind of like little. It's a bit. It's bigger than little because we have little here in the UK. And anyway, this is madness. This is going far too far. This is going to be like a cracker. It's not too thin to be a cracker. It's very thin. Look how thin that is. So first of all, let's do the taste. Oh, by the way, it's going to five. No, it's going to it's going to five point five. It tastes just like a rich tea, but, <laughs> but because it's so wafer thin, it has very little taste. It's very, very, very bland. Um, this is not looking good. Mouthfeel, again, really, 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 really bland. The rich tea got six for that. It's not go. It's not doing well. All right. Durability, hey, that's not bad. Although the fact that I had it took me, let's get in fact let's get a fresh one. All right, here's a light knock. Li a light that was honestly a light knock. The durability, I mean, strictly speaking, it didn't crumb up much because it's got much in it. But strictly speaking. That's a very low durability. So I'm gonna go for a five. This is, by the way, Frontier Devs Nan, by the way, suggested this. Uh, new low scoring coming, perhaps. Uh, maybe you'll have like three of them stacked together, it'd be okay. Great. And that is the time, this is, and, and, and again, I'll take another fresh, no I won't, I'll just use the one that I'd bitten into already previously, because that's only fair. Um, so here we go. You ready for the dunkability test? This is the moment that everyone's been waiting for. One. Two, three. <laughs> That's it, everyone. That is the worst dunk so far by a long, long way. What a dunk disaster. That is not. Now I have a soupy, biscuity sweetness below. Oh, that's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, no. Hull's breach. <laughs> what an absolute fail. I'm going to taste it quickly anyway. <laughs> this is a soggy mulch. It's just a soggy mulch, everyone. Biscuit slaughter. One. At least it came out. At least it, at least it came out. It would be a zero if it had fallen in before I pulled it out. At least you could see as I pulled it out. So, put it out of the, the dunk. Um, post dunk taste. <laughs> No worse than the Garibaldi. Satisfaction. I didn't even notice that I'd finished it. It was like putting air into my mouth. Like I <laughs> barely even ate the thing. It's less satisfying than a Garibaldi. Moorishness. I can I kind of. Hmm. Hmm. DJ Truth Sayer. Yeah? Says you dunked too long. That's the same three seconds that I dunked everything else. It was one, two, three, out. Every time. Watch the VODs if you don't believe me. It does. And Defiant Renegade says, to be fair, post dunk taste depends on the quality of the tea. I use the same, same tea every single time. Um, this is Yorkshire tea. So that science is sound. You can't. No, no, no. Moorishness. I'm eating more. I prefer it to the Garibaldi in some ways. Five. Which means that I think it's, no, nah, I think it's about the same as Moorishness as a Jammy Dodger. People are shocked by the Jammy Dodgers now, aren't they? All right. 35. <laughs> Brutal. Oh, wrong way. Mmm. So there we have it, folks. The Tesco Rich Tea Finger is the worst biscuit that I've reviewed so far. Yeah, now I remember I used to dunk three at a time. I bet that a three dunker is quite good. Should we test it? To, should we go for an extra a three dunker? Let's go for a three a triple dunker. I was only going to have one biscuit today, but here we go. Three, three dunker. One, two, three. That holds up. 
when you combine three together, you can... It, it, even that's sagging. <laughs> Look at that! What a mess of a biscuit. R.I.P. the Tesco Rich Finger. I'm so sorry, Tesco, but I'm sure that you do some fantastic biscuits elsewhere. And that's what we're going to find out. We're going to have a Tesco selection throughout the week. I've got a few ready for this week, so I'm sure that you will improve throughout. Mm. So anyone, every, everyone, every, anyone, anyone, is anyone still there? Everyone's still here. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you don't follow this stream already, please do. Um, it is a lot of fun. It's my side hobby stream that I do at lunchtimes to, um, because I'm making my way back to Seoul in Elite Dangerous all the way from Beagle Point and I thought I'd combine it with a bit of fun with the biscuit reviews. We've done 16 biscuits it looks like so far which is pretty cool uh, and we've got loads loads more. I'm doing a stream on Saturday this week too but it is usually every day at 1pm and then I'm streaming on Saturday this week from 10am BST well, throughout the day until I've made enough mileage because I'm still so far away from Seoul. But thank you so much everybody for joining me today. Really really do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. You are the best. Do come back again tomorrow at 1pm BST and tonight on the official youtube.com forward slash frontier developments forward slash live to see a cool stream about the dangerous games which is going to be really really cool featuring frontier dev himself so thank you very much guys and um uh yeah Robin one kenobi shan moon prayer pixel planets orange spark i'm just reading from the bottom griefed all you usuals all you regulars thanks for being here and keeping me sane you are the best see you soon see you later oh if not later then definitely tomorrow see you in a bit bye after those dry rich tea fingers. Mm. Rich tea fingers. Mm. Secretly I loved them. <laughs> My scores are a lie. But at least now that the microphone's turned off they'll never know. What's that? I'm live? Drat!